Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm bringing you another Get Ready With Me. And um, this one is featuring Best Hair By. So I'm going to walk you through what I use and what I do with my makeup and hair. Um, sadly, there is no outfit, so don't kill me in the comments for this. But I will leave all the products I use below. I use the Black Radiance Gel Liner to do my brows. And I'm using the NARS Creamy Beige Concealer to um, just highlight and fix my brows. I'm going to blend that in with my finger. If you hear a noise in the background, I really do apologize. But you have to remember I got roommates. So I'm using the brow gel from the brow gal. It's a hard name to do my brows. And then I'm using cinnamon from the ABH contour kit to color correct instead of using orange. So I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear foundation and I'm using NW45. It's my first time trying it. At first I hated it. I was like, oh no, it's too light. It looks a little bit ghostly. But now I really do like it. Um... Yeah, after it oxidized, it looked really nice. And these brushes are from Garabess. So I'm going in with the NARS concealer to highlight under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin as usual. I did a whole series, so I did a lot of makeup in here. So you guys probably know like everything I do by now. So I'm using the color chocolate from the ABH Contour Kit to contour. Some people don't like contouring. They say... That your foundation is supposed to cover your dark spots and people bring darkness back into their face but honestly as i always say if you just use foundation and don't contour or highlight your face will not have any life like it's really going to look ghostly and really flat so keep that in mind but to each its own it's my first time using this beauty blender um yeah i don't know why i've been using the real technique sponges so yeah this is my first time using this so I'm going to set that with this Laura Mercier um, translucent powder. It's my first time using this. Obviously, you guys see I went to the mall and bought a new set of makeup, I guess, products. <laughs> so I'm just going to dust that off. I'm not going to let it bake. And on top of that, I'm going to put the Black Opal setting powder in the color or shade Medium 03. But yeah, I did take a trip to the mall and I did get some new products just to try out because, you know, I don't really buy like the... Um, I guess I forgot what you call these but you know the more expensive products so yeah bless you honey so um I tried well you guys know I use the makeup oh, no see I'm over here looking at these products and anyways I use the black radiance liquid liner but I was looking at this makeup forever spray that I did try out these lashes are from eBay. I wanted to, I should have used my Broadway lashes, but these were just on hand. So, yeah, I think the Broadway lashes would have looked probably a little bit more natural than these, but I like these as well. So I'm just going to dust my face with the Soft Focus Powder from Black Radiance. Again, all the products will be listed down below in the description. So for my cheek, I'm using the normal Malibu Glitz Harmony. And this is the Makeup Forever. Now, I did like it, but it was, like, really, really, like, the spray came out, like, stringy instead of, you know, misty. Um, This is my first time trying the Becca highlighters, and I'm using the shade Topaz. So, yeah, I, I like it. Oh, that's the name of them, the high-end products. That's what they call these. But these probably not even high-end. I think YSL and stuff like that, but these were expensive. I went to Sephora and bought, like, four or five things. And spent like over 100 I was like, oh no, this ain't for me. So this is my first time trying the MAC Chestnut um, Pencil, which is highly, highly, highly used on a in the YouTube community, in the makeup world. So yeah, on top of that, I went in with my Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. And it's the shade 10 and Adorable. And I just set my spray with the, <laughs> set my spray, <laughs> set my face with the Urban Decay Setting Spray. And for my lower lashes, I'm going to use the CoverGirl False Lash Drama. So while I'm putting my Gorilla Snot and Edge Control on my edges, I'm going to also include uh, me unboxing the hair that I'm going to use. 
Um, I did say I didn't like the Gorilla Snot, but I just don't like the fact that it wipes off my makeup. Um, but other than that, it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, it looks better once you set it and stuff like that, but I just don't be having time. Like, I literally went to the post office after this video and went and got had to go pick up 25 packages for basically YouTube and Christmas shopping for my friends. So, yeah. The hair, the box is beautiful that it came in. I'm just going to give you a close-up of the 360 frontal. It does look really nice. Um, the part in space is, you know, it's natural. Uh, you'll see in the end the only issue I had with the part in space so you'll see that in the end and I'll bring it back up but nonetheless it was really well constructed the lace was a little bit too light for me but it might work for you <laughs> so yeah um, it does come with an adjustable strap on the inside in the back and I'll show that to you in a minute um, with that in the back you can kind of see it if somebody is really close to you they might be able to see if you have your hair in a ponytail but I wouldn't wear my wigs in a ponytail unless I'm wearing a hat so I don't really worry about that too much and this is me just showing you my cream of nature edge control that I'm going to use for this unit I used basically like a bundle and a half I didn't even have to use all three bundles I got a 16 inch 360 front tube and three 20 inch bundles. Um, so, yeah. I'll leave like everything else down below, all the information, you know, the type of hair, the links, and all of that. But if I'm not mistaken, it's Brazilian straight. So, I did put concealer, no, not concealer, foundation on the lace instead of bleaching it because it didn't match my skin tone as I mentioned. Um, so the concealer, I keep saying concealer, <laughs> the foundation worked out pretty well. You just get a kabuki brush and brush it on there, um, as if you're doing your face, like as if you're applying foundation to your face, you just buff it into the lace on the, um, bottom of it before you put it onto your head and it does blend out pretty well. Some people say if you put foundation or concealer on your lace that it'll turn orange, but, um, I have no problem with that because I just use shimmer lights to, um, wash the lace, the lace, the lace if it does turn like orange or something like that. So I'm not really too worried about that. Um, as you can see, the part in space is really natural. The hair had basically no tangles. I had no problem with constructing this wig. Um, yeah. Now I didn't like. It wasn't pre-plucked. <laughs> I learned that pre-plucked works better for me because I just I don't know. Like I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and curl it, but I'm going to use my Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine first to protect the hair. And then I'm going to just take my wand curler and put some curls or some waves in here. Um, really curls, not waves. But I know in a few days they'll turn into waves. I like this hair curly way better than I liked it straight. Um, you could you could see on the end, like while I'm curling it, the lace coming up. But I just pull it back to the front at the end. Um, yeah. It is 3.48 in the morning and I'm recording a voiceover. So if I sound tired, I do apologize. But I am excited about the video. So don't don't get that mistaken, okay? Um, as you can see, that line right there, it looks like I'm losing hair. <laughs> you know, it looks like I'm half thinning hair right there. But other than that, it worked out pretty well. It holds a curl really nicely. Um, and this is the unit I wore today to go get my packages and stuff like that. But I did switch over to a different unit because I had to do another video and I had to go somewhere else. So, yeah. I do switch wigs in a day, y'all. Don't don't judge me, all right? <laughs> all right, so basically this is the final look. It looks really natural as far as the makeup and hair. And that is it. Thank you guys for joining. I would give this company an A or maybe a B because I didn't really like the thickness of the hairline of the front too but everything else was great okay b plus b plus thank you for watching